Friends, pioneers, doggos, lend me your ears. Do you guys even have ears? Hi guys, I'm Scratch and today I'm going to give you part one of my tour of my starter base, which is an ancient Roman city called Ephesus, uh, which is based on a city in Turkey called Ephesus. Not based on as in it looks anything like it, just that's where I got the inspiration from. So we're going to take a wander through, I'll give you some stats. Um, on what I'm producing, I'll uh, show you how I'm building things uh, and then towards the end of the video I'll show you uh, oh hello Mr Moth, let's let you fly over, yep thanks for interrupting hi, uh, yeah I'll show you what's next, what I've got left to do and I'll go through more of the blueprints I've used, I'll show you them as I go through but I'll kind of dive a bit deeper into uh, how I made them, what they're constructed of at the end of the video. So I'll put a timestamp down in the comments if you want to jump straight to that at any point in the video. So let's get cracking. Uh, what I think I'll start off with is the hub. So I've popped the hub down here right at the beginning uh, or the entrance to the save. Um, or the starter factory. Uh, this is a starter factory. A lot of people are going to maybe kick off that it's not a starter factory, but in my opinion, it's it's creating the basic resources I need to go out into the world and uh, build more things. So I have a supply of, of the basics I need. Uh, anything up to probably AI limiters, motors. Don't think I'm going to go any further than that. But uh, I'll also probably put some like stuff like liquid biofuel, maybe some nobelisks, just some basic weapons and stuff that I can feed into one uh, dimensional depot to stock myself up wherever I am in the world. So yeah, uh, hub, you'll notice, I can't remember whose idea this was, that suggested it to me, but all the um, buildings and things like that are gold, they're the caterium colour. Um, because I was feeling like they stuck out too much and someone suggested it might have been extra uh, excited might have been excited uh, but apologies if it was someone else because um, I felt like the buildings were a bit modern and they stuck out but they suggested uh, making them gold so they look a little bit more like statues if you know what I mean they have that vibe to them so all of them are gold so yeah I've plonked the hub down here kind of you'll see this kind of uh uh, I don't know what you would want to call it, like uh, trimming around where I kind of just leave the center open and have the, the layered pillars around the edge. You've also got the MAM here. You've got the ocean shop tickets. I should probably move that over slightly. But anyway. Uh, and an equipment workshop. Just all the basics I'd need in this area. Uh, that's a conveyor bus. I'll show you about that in a minute. But uh, first, or secondly really, now, we should visit my doggos that you saw at the beginning of the video. So it's a little doggo pen. It's not quite um, even, as you can see that's one foundation, that's two-ish. Um, but that's just the shape I kind of had to make it to fit into this little space. Um, so these are all my doggos. Come here guys. Uh, they all start with... A jailer. So I'll just introduce them now. First we have John Boy. Thank you for the crystal oscillators, buddy. Jamath. Doopy Poop, which unsurprisingly was named by Little Scratch, my son. Jax. Jimiroquai. Jasper. Ooh, with a nuke there. Thank you very much. And of course, Jeff. See it? All J names there. Um, if I get any more, I'll carry on with the J names. Any uh, suggestions drop them in the comments below uh, but we'll carry on with the tour so I'll jump out of here and we'll head to this first factory back here so this is my iron factory as you see I've built it over the top Ooh. I've built over the top of these iron nodes and just uh, the factory extends right over the top of them so we'll go up there in a bit but they all come up onto this like little bus 
and then into the actual factory itself. Oh, a couple of unpainted foundations down there. A few gold ones as well. I'll sort that out later. So here we come in here, and the first thing you'll probably notice about some of these factories is that um, I'm struggling to light them at the moment. I have a few ideas, a few things I'm tooling around with, but obviously if it's ancient Greek, uh, Roman, sorry, Roman factory, I wouldn't have electric lights. I know there's factory machines and stuff like that, but I want to kind of keep it on theme as much as I can. But let me know what you think as we go through of the various little bits of lightning I have put in. Uh, and um, if you have a preference or an opinion or an idea of how I could do it, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments or if there's one you like. So, um, yep, yeah, we've got our smelters down here. I'll jump around the stairs. Uh, there's two stacks of, I think, five each. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So there's one, two, there's five this side. Yeah. And then there's um, another ten up top here. Pretty simple, just laid out. No, nothing special, really. Oh, fall through there. So the first blueprints I'm going to talk about are these pillars. These are all blueprinted. I have... Um, Two variations, which is all, a stack of one uh, and a four high one. But again, I'll show you more about those at the end of the video. Um, and we'll head upstairs. So we first come here. This uh, double stack of... Oh, fall down the hole. I only got here. Uh, not, not blueprint mode. One, two, th uh, one, two three four five six so 12 constructors all making iron plates uh, basic recipe you can do the math on that 20 per minute times was it 12 my math is terrible so apologies 20 times 12 there we go 240 per minute 240 per minute not a huge amount but enough to keep me going while I'm out and about, and then we have a second line. Obviously, the ironing gets come up here, go around the corner, and we have a bunch of constructors here making rods. We have how many do we have? Let's see. I haven't written down the numbers for this anywhere because I'm just making as much as I can as I go with most things, so I haven't got anything written down. So we've got 20 constructors here, they make 20 a minute, yeah, 15 per minute. So there we go. Let's have a look. How many have we got? 20 times 15, 300 a minute. There you go, 300 a minute. So 300 a minute on the rods, and they join the plates at the end here, and jump down into that bus I was talking about and this is just a bus that runs along into the storage which I'll show you in a bit uh, nothing too exciting about that uh, n none of this is blueprinted on this bus the thing that is blueprinted is these I have a couple of variations of these but I will show you them later okay continuing on um, I guess I should say as well, these are also blueprinted, these segments here. So, yeah, I've got those, and I've got a couple of variations of these as well. So, I'll show you those at the end of the video. Uh, so, you can see the front here, I kind of dipped it in a little bit, tried to make a little entrance to make it look a little bit in more interesting uh, than it already was, trying to give it a bit more shape. And like I said, that's where the rods all are. And then you've got all the plates and stuff up there. Uh, we will go up this way next. Not exactly in order of complexity, but just in order of easy to get. We have two iron miners here. It might not be what you think it is. I am using the... Um, I don't know what the recipe's called. Steel pipe. Steel pipe recipe. To make... I think it's about 250. No, it's not. Because these are about 25 each. So that's what a hollow. 24, 25, 25. So I lay at night and my maths is terrible as it is. Uh, so that's 60, 75. 75 per minute of uh, steel pipes. It is called steel pipes, the recipe, I think. 
yeah, steel pipes. Not very many, but enough. Enough for how much I use steel pipes. And that I, I might change this because at the moment it messily just kind of ducks in through this little gap here. But I, I, th I might tidy that up because it's not the neatest. Yeah, uh, again, using the same blueprints on the sides here as I was on the iron. Well, that's kind of what they look like on the inside. Uh, I did a V, uh, a pointy roof on this one. The moth just misses that roof. So yeah, I did this kind of roof here. None of that's blueprinted. I want to try and figure out how to put like a design, maybe with beams to make it look like a, a kind of carved relief thing on the top here. Maybe I'll figure that out at some point. But yeah, that's what this looks like on the outside. So let's jump off this bus which comes out of this next building, which is my concrete production. So down here we have, turn on the torch, see the concrete miner going. Obviously, I'm using a lot of concrete in this build. So this is a fairly important one. We're not really producing that much though. So 15 a minute, how many have, there's a while since I built this, so one, two, Three, four, five, six. So see, we're only making 15 times six. We're only making 90 a minute. No, not six. Not six, is it? Yeah. Only 90 a minute on here. Are you sure that's right? Yeah. So really not very much concrete. Maybe I'll add to it or duplicate it or something like that in the future. I'm using most of the concrete around here, so then I'm going to be able to. Oh, there's a thing I need to paint in there, isn't there? Again, do that later. Yeah, not much going on here. The concrete comes out underneath here, and then it's inside here. There's a lift, and it goes uh, out that way along that bus. We just walked under. So, a nice little courtyard around here which takes us over here and you can also get to this over that little bridge there into my copper so we've got one copper node down here going into a bunch of smelters and then some of it's going upstairs which we'll see in a minute uh, the copper that's produced down here is being turned into copper sheets bunch of copper sheets I'm gonna stop doing numbers because it's too late for the maths but if you want them if you want any numbers I'm gonna stop doing them now uh, unless I really feel it's necessary so drop them in the comments if you want to know what any of the numbers are on this and I will tell you okay yeah so copper sheets again comes around drops into a lift here goes under and then out this way and out onto that same bus there so we go up here and pretty much exactly the same setup except up here we are making wire See, ton of wire. Uh, the only difference here is before the wire um, doesn't go straight around to that bus, it goes upstairs first to where I can. Oh, there's a hole there for a reason. <laughs> it goes up here and makes wire. Uh, and that does split off. Um, yeah, it comes up here, makes wire, and then that, not oh, wire, sorry, oh, I need to paint the top of there as well, see, lots of stuff to do, and there's a gap there, so lots of little bits to tidy and finish on this. Yeah, the, the uh, cable, sorry, cable comes down here, and out, and into that bus that goes across, and over, and over there. Uh, there is another set of constructors, if I come back downstairs, that are over here which are just producing a bunch of wire that goes over into my storage. Yep, and that's my copper facility. I'm not as happy with the, the outside of the copper as I am everything else. I kind of like this archway here. It's quite nice. But yeah, I was going for kind of a bit more open. And the problem I think I'm having with it, or I have with it, I'll just go down here a sec just so you can see it a bit better is this these floors here they look a little bit um too thin i think but yeah i'm not 
it's probably the least favourite build I've done so far. But yeah, just to jump back up, let's give you a guide. Uh, this is a recent addition just to cover over a bit of ground here. Uh, and then I built this kind of large stone archway. I think it looks kind of better coming from this angle than it does coming down there. Um, yeah, it's just aesthetic, this piece. Um, I think I need to change up that end there, but it w I think it would clip into the building. So I think it looks nice coming up through here. Oh, look, the moth is coming through as well. You get all these buildings. It's quite a nice little run through there, but it looks a little bit stumpy coming from this way, I think. I think it's helped added, it looks better now I've added these sections in, <clears throat> but still. And then we end here. Uh, I'm going to do more of this kind of thing, just these kind of aesthetic, not really archways are they, but columns with the the, the top piece. Uh, and that's just basically where the, where our thing ends. I've kind of tidied it up so it looks, land down here. Looks nice from the outside with just some columns on the bottom there. And maybe later on I'll hide something underneath there. Some little special treat. Then this is the next build. I quite like this one. I think this is... I did this straight after I did that. As you can see, like, I didn't like the thinness of these floors there. So I decided to fatten them up a bit. Even though there's not really... Well, there's logistics in there. There's not really anything in that top one. It's just all... Just all for looks, really. Just all for the style. This is the first lighting thing as well. These... Grab one. Little, uh, what's the right word for them? Torches? Torches. Um, I, I kind of like the look of them. They might be, I don't know if this, this is supposed to represent fire, but it, I don't know if it looks a bit modern. Um, the trouble with them is, and the reason I haven't used them more, is they don't really kick out that much light so they don't really help with the lighting situation at all but anyway to explain what this is it is a what's the word for it it's kind of to process slugs and uh, alien protein into dna protein to then be sunk and get tickets so you just dump stuff in here so look i've got a slug uh what else have we got in here that we can dump slug uh and then all the alien stuff can go in there um and then it gets, oh, you can hear it, like you hear the, um, if I can fly up there real quick, they're getting processed. So yeah, you see, and these are all slooped, as you can see they're glowing purple, so I'm getting double what goes in, comes out. Um, so you can see I've got double the production going on here, which is nice. Uh, and then back here we have the the alien, uh, everything being turned into alien proteins that then gets slooped and turned into DNA capsules and then just sunk for some tickets. Uh, these at the moment, these were all, um, they do all have sloops in them, summer sloops. Uh, but at the moment only this one and those three do because I had to steal the rest for my um, power plant. Um, which I'm not really going to give you a tour of in this video because it's just a very small I'll put a shot of it in here uh, it's just a small coal power plant I did want to try and run everything off of this coal power plant that's here but this place is using way too much power um, and so yeah it's not enough uh, but my next project will be uh, a big fuel plant and so that fuel plant, I'm gonna. My aim with it is to start off with turbo fuel. I've never done turbo fuel, um, and I've not really looked into the production chain. But I'm hoping then I can build the turbo fuel plant and then bolt onto it, changing it to be a um, what's the next level? I haven't got that far in the game. But you know, the rocket fuel and then the ionized fuel. I think from what I've seen, correct me if I'm wrong, that that that's the chain turbo to or turbo to ionized no turbo to rocket to ionized is that right i don't know like i said i'm not that far on the game but that's i'm going to build a power plant that i'm going to bolt extra things onto as i progress through the game and get more and more power um but that'll be the next project after this one so if you want to see that and if you want to see the second part of this tour make sure you subscribe 
for whenever they go live because these are big projects that take me a hell of a long time um so yeah you're gonna need to keep an eye because i don't know when, when who knows when that next one's getting done who knows when this project's getting finished so just to finish the tour off down here um this is a little fountain ouch um again this is another blueprint which is a large version of this Ooh, go away. this uh this one i'll show you kind of how i made those I, I think there's easier ways than why i did it but i'll show you how i did this at the end of the video and then i left this rock sticking through because i quite liked it and just framed it up um this is just polished concrete uh foundation with a kind of blue color on it I'm not sure i've settled on the 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 let you pass by yeah okay bye um what is the right blue for the water yet but uh, i'm sure i'll figure it out but yeah just a nice little decorative fountain i did have a statue on the top of here but you'll see it in a minute i've moved it to another place because i can't afford oh, i probably could might be able to afford two but at the moment i've got one that i'm just using to duck in and just just show off uh, or test out little ideas of where I'm going to put statues and as I get more tickets I'll buy more statues and they'll, they'll have permanent homes. Uh, next up we get into kind of more tier 2 stuff. This is uh, my reinforced plates setup. So we have um, basically it's split down the middle, it's mirrored and you can see this is the reinforced plates, they're coming up there. Again, a bit dark, you can kind of see here, this is a bit lighter than it should be, because uh, this is the first lighting solution I've put in, which should, it works here, but I don't know how well I'll get it in other places, so I've hidden some lights on the back side here, so that when you're coming through, all the areas where the machines are is a lot more lit up. And this area actually is the area I, I first had an eye, this is the picture I had in my head, when I first thought of this zone, it was this and the, the Colosseum that I'll show you in a bit. But having this kind of archway down in this location, in this valley, that joins up uh, the first section to the second section of production. And yeah, so basically uh, we've got a few refineries making iron ingots uh, that also feed the screws on this side. And then on this side, it's a refinery that makes the iron plates that feed into the these two uh, assemblers. And then it's just mirrored on the other side, basically. And then that goes up into the bus that sneaks into the Colosseum back there, where are my storage is, which you'll see at the end of the video. Well, not the end of the video, near the end of the video. And then out here, I built these steps in this little area. And I couldn't figure out what to put on top of it. So I bunged a constructor up there, and I quite like it, to be honest. I quite like how that looks, especially when you're coming down here, frames it quite nicely. Um, yeah, if I'm in the middle. I just think it looks quite cool. Again, these are the, the blueprinted. Yep. Here are these blueprints that I've shown you before, and I'll show you how to make, well, not make them, but I'll show you all about them in the end. And then again, yeah, obviously the pillars are all blueprinted, because it would take forever to fix all those so yeah little sunken area here we got the steps and we have another fountain slightly different blue there you can see and again i'll um i quite like having the factory car up here maybe when i complete the game um and not to spoil it but you get a different version of this that might look a little bit nicer up there and then i'm going to have statues on these lower pillars down here I just like having the factory car up there, I think it's quite cool. Uh, yep, yeah, there's some steps up here that I'll take you up later because that's an unfinished area, so we'll go to that at the end of the video. And then we have some more aesthetic pieces here. These I've built are also blueprints, these boxes. There is a 1.5 uh, foundation wide one. No, oh, I can't go through. And there is a one, uh, one foundation wide one as well. Uh, and then these are also blueprints up here but they're a different colour because I recolored these gold and I need to recolor the blueprint as well. But yeah, looking at some pictures of some uh, Roman cities and stuff, they tended to just have these random kind of boxy things as decoration and then some pillars with just kind of nothing on. I was thinking about connecting with an archway, but I, I think I'm going to leave it like this. So I quite like it like that. So into our next factory, which is encased industrial beams. 
I think. We're gonna have a look, we'll double check that. Yeah, I was right. So yeah, we've got our miner down here. If I can, I'm trying to include the miners into the builds as much as I possibly can. And here you can see that second lighting solution that I've come up with. It's meant to be kind of a hanging brazier. Um, I don't know, it adds, it adds a nice bit of light and it works really well in larger areas, but like the smaller compact factories, it like hangs from the ceiling and nearly hits the floor. So it looks a little bit weird. So I might, um, if you guys think it looks cool, cause I'm not hundred percent sure on, you know, how cool it looks. And I'm leaving it in certain places to see how I feel about it. Um, but yeah, I might make a version of it with a stand, but it's a blueprint like you can see. And you just kind of, it works quite well. You just dangle it off the ceiling. Um, so yeah, that's that. Let me know what you think of that. If you have any opinions or any other ideas of things I could do, but I like the light it kicks out. Um, I kind of like the shape of it. It's just the material really. I'm not a huge fan of the dark black of it. Um, but anyway, yeah, we've got in here, so let me really show you two refineries making um concrete again see look, it looks quite nice with the really high ceilings it looks quite cool uh, and then we go up here um and then we have these assemblers kicking out encased industrial beams uh, obviously as you can see there's not there are beams here but they're not being produced in here they have their own little factory which we will go to next um, actually, quickly, this is where the iron, uh, I've got th the three iron miners here in their own little sheds. You want to call them sheds, miner houses? So I've done like little mini, what's the building called? I think it's the Acropolis, isn't it? Which is the one that looks like this. Kind of a bit more open than that, but yeah, that kind of vibe. So right, coming to the beam factory. I quite like the beam factory. Again, it's a bit dark. I haven't, uh, lighting is not been done because like i said i haven't decided yet so on this side we have iron ingots being made over here i'll take you in a weird route through this factory and they go in here uh you've got a little viewing viewing platform and apparently a hole and stuff not finished over here uh but it will show you that yeah there is uh this is where some of the logistics is hiding a massive rock in the middle here so you see, I keep my logistics quite neat. Yeah, I'm painted. I will go around and touch everything up like this. And this just quickly shows you, oh, that's clipping. That's not good, is it? That shows you the inside of one of these buses where the concrete's coming down here. I will delete that and fix the, all this here because it needs finishing. Like I say, lots of little touches that need doing. Yeah, they go over to this other side. Oh, no, they don't. <laughs> they go up here into these foundries to make steel ingots. There we go. And then it's just mirrored on the side here. And I've, with this one, I've tried to keep it a bit lighter by opening up the roof and having a big open column here. But because of how Lumen works, it doesn't really... It just lights this section and this section still pretty dark. I mean, you can see, so I might not light it. It's not like it's so dark you can't see anything. You know what I mean? So it's not the worst. I'm not sure if it, maybe in. it needs lighting, but in here, yeah, again, you can see. So we're doing the steel beams in the foundries, which is being mixed with concrete. Now, where's the concrete? The concrete is if we come up here and out here i mean you saw it a minute ago coming in jump up here is coming from this little build at the back here so you see we've got uh this double uh bus oh, gap there i need to fix there you go see lots of little touches lots of little touches that need doing not finished work in progress so yeah it's coming from over here these uh, foundry, uh, foundries, refineries, churning out a bunch of concrete. Uh, I quite like this again, how it's turned out. 
Uh, I should make a blueprint for this, but as you can see, this is not blueprinted. The beams all are. This section is not. Again, another unpainted thing there. Uh, the bottoms again is using another variation of this blueprint. And then we get a look at the outside of the beam factory. Again, using a variation of these without the pillars on. We'll jump back out here and have a look at the last factory that's in this area. So the last factory I've done so far. Yeah, I think this is our last completed factory. Kind of, kind of, an asterisk on that. But this is making uh, modular frames, modular frames. So a little bit bigger in here. Um, we've got basically these stacks. Again, you can see the braziers in here and I, I quite like them in here. They look really quite cool, especially that high. You can see where I've added the lights underneath. So it looks like the fire is kind of poking through the little holy bits. So now, yeah, we have a bunch of smelters. Ooh, see, this is what happens when you use a million blueprints. When you go into dismantle blueprint mode, you get some crazy wireframes, and your frames start to drop a bit. <laughs> but yeah, um, smelters into constructors on the top here, uh, making iron plates, and that's the same over here, I believe. Yep, yeah, iron plates, iron plates. And even more iron plates and then finally over here we have steel screws being made so steel beams into screws two lots of those going up and then we got the stairwell at the back here and up again and we have our assemblers which are sets of uh, they're basically two sets which you have this one making using bolted iron plates to make reinforced iron plates which then uh, go into the bolted frames using the reinforced plates and some of the screws that we saw before and basically you've got four like that and then two of the ones making reinforced iron plates and four modular frames for each side and it's just mirrors basically you see another unpainted thing there. I'm going to have to go through and um, do a snag list and a snag check on this before I finish. Uh, yeah, and it's exactly the same. Uh, and the logistics are in the floor down below. And it's, you know, if you want to see some of my logistics, it's not not messy. You know, you've got things poking through this. Jumpity jumpity. Uh, this is another little decorational blueprint I'm working on at the moment. So it's what I'm calling like a bandstand. Uh, it's not finished yet, I think. Um, what I need, I need to add another step into this, probably on top. So, uh, like if we do this, basically, like another step out. 
because at the moment I think the the roof is too close to the edge and it doesn't stand out enough so I need to add that and that'll get added into the blueprint and also I feel like this needs some steps but I'll have to do that with frame foundations and I can't do that in the blueprint so I think instead of it just being a big step it needs to be like some small gradual steps and you only need to add this third um, step on the top to give the dome a bit more separation from uh, the edge because at the moment it just kind of blends too much and I wanted it set back a bit more I might just do a half nudge like that though instead of the full nudge but when I release when I finish this place and I release the video you'll see the updated version of that yeah probably something like that so those are probably going to get removed um, and made a version two of uh, but I'll talk more about it at the end and then we have this uh, another version of the pillar here which kind of just has a few less uh, spines to it it's it's a bit fatter um, yeah that was tricky to make and then this is the first time you see this small arch blueprint that I made that I want to use more of but again it's same thing as with the braziers it's this black that I'm not a huge fan of but it's the way I could make a, a very small arch um, I guess I could use a beam maybe but you know I'll, I'll have a think about that maybe we'll try it another time and yeah just another decorative this is the statue I was talking about earlier so I'll have more of these statues sitting around all over the place uh, to make it look a bit nicer uh, out there we have a boss that's just bringing in some I believe iron and copper I'm just bringing it in here um, and then you have a bus going off that way which is bringing in uh, steel uh, not steel sorry uh, coal for the steel beams and then these two concrete nodes as well uh, as well as some water and some more iron as well so you've got these here and again you see this open design which I'm going to use a few more times uh, probably for covering up all the miners uh, but yep oh the other thing that's bringing in is um, Caterium ore for this little Caterium uh, I don't really want to call it a factory uh, Caterium production area maybe don't know but yeah I, I quite like its design nice little um, again Colosseum -y look oh, I'm gonna finish those beams um, pillars but yeah I used quite an interesting technique that maybe I'll make a video on at some point to close up these gaps here um, because there's two foundations in there basically um, I found it's just a variation on the well it's the same thing as if, if anyone knows the the beam technique so if I get rid of that I'll quickly show you it so what you do is get a beam put it on free form snap it between the two points you want and then you get one and you just slap it on the end there you nudge it across one or two two and then back one two three four like that and then you do exactly the same on the other side but the opposite direction so you go one two across and then one way and then back one two three four and then if you get rid of that beam you see you've merged them perfectly so it's not like a perfect circle but uh, that should work to fill any gap that is over two meters so if it's over two meters and you want to merge the two together um, obviously you can do a similar thing with um, <clears throat> the normal foundations if it's over four meters but this is just for two meters so it's basically the same technique you just you're nudging it slightly less to nudge anyone who doesn't know uh, just let you know it's obviously you tap h and then hold can uh, and then left and right up and down uh, arrows to move it all over the place within eight meters i think it is i think there's a slight thing where sometimes you can only nudge it seven meters 
and it will go nudge exceeded. Uh, and you can also hold control and do half meter increments. So, yep, that's how you do that. And that's how I filled those gaps. So I don't know. Um, and then you can see your quick wire. I did say Caterium, didn't I? But it makes quick wire. So you've got the smelters at the bottom and then obviously the constructors up top. And it makes a bunch of quick wire, which is uh, being fed back to the storage. Also, it is coming up here to uh, a very unfinished factory, but it's uh, you can kind of see sometimes how I build things. Sometimes I tend they're more or less finished. So with something like this, I built one floor and completely finished it, and then built the next floor on top of it. With this one, I'm kind of building as it goes, uh, and this is my motor factory basically this is going to be motor so we've got screws being made down here and i've found this nice way here i'll probably blueprint this but this is the first time i've used it so just using one meter walls um here to get that staggered little look i've been getting everywhere else and what this means is this is left completely hollow to run a belt through uh but it doesn't I've been running belt through the other ones, but if I was using foundations like I have been in the other ones, these would be like two, three times as thick as they are right now. So nice and thin. Uh, and yeah, so the screws are run across here into these assemblers, which are also taking copper sheets to make my rotors on this floor. And then back here, we have where the copper sheets are being made in these um, refineries. Sorry, it's quite late at night, like I keep saying. And this is going to be a bit of a, or has been a bit of a rambly video. And then this uh, one foundry is making 100 copper ingots just to make these uh, copper sheets for the rotors. Uh, and then let's go up to the next floor. We've got two staircases either side. And you can see Gloops in some unfinished logistics here. As these here are making some iron ingots, these um, foundries that are going to go across here to make, or well, they are making steel pipes, which I will connect up and they will go up here. Don't think I've put any assemblers in, oh, uh, uh, blank, but this will be where the next layer is of assemblers that will make the stators and then we'll go up another floor to bring them both together to make motors so this is probably going to be the tallest building i've got i mean it depends what you count really because it's on a raised platform so it's higher because it's it's sitting it starts off higher so it might not be the tallest bottom to top but it's going to sit quite high which is quite likes then you'll be able to see it from from down the bottom there yeah so that's one thing that needs finishing uh i'll take you through down here Obviously, this is the bus that runs the modular frames into my storage area. Uh, there's that um, version of this, which is only a foundation wide, which I will use to squeeze into places like that. Um, and up here, you just got a nice little walkway. I'll probably add some decorations up here. I want it again. I think they're called freezes, aren't they? Where they're like chiseled um, stone with battles and stuff like that. I'd love to try and do one on here in some way, shape or form. Um, some kind of decoration will go there. Uh, and I designed these, like I'll talk about in a minute. Because I wanted the stairways to feel quite grand as you were going up them. And then I wanted you, them to overshadow you quite a lot. So I've added these on the sides just to give that feeling of making you small, feel smaller, you know. Um, up this space here, I think it's going to be this space. Um, I've said in streams before in different areas. This is where the train station is going to go. It's probably only going to not going to be massive. Hardy Moth interrupting us. Um, it's probably not going to be massive. Uh, probably only going to have like a personal train station because I'll just have dimensional depots for anything I need. So if I make an aluminium factory for aluminium sheets and casings, will be all made in that factory. Uh, they won't be brought back here and they'll just go into a dimensional depot so i can use them whenever i need them um and yeah this will be more like a personal train station maybe it'll bring a th few things back i don't know that's future future stuff but that's what's going to be up there so you got the motor factory to finish i'm working at the moment and train station will go here 
So here we carry on up round here. Uh, at the moment, I'm just having an explorer parked here. That I used to go out and explore with. I may build like a building here where I can keep a garage with an explorer and maybe a bit of fuel in and, and things I need to go exploring, like ammunition and stuff. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? And then we're back around here. And the one thing I didn't show you at the beginning is this. Obviously, I wanted this entrance to feel very grand because this is the big uh, main thing within this area. So again, you've got the high things, you've got this roof and all these tall pillars. And as you come out into here, you see the the storage area, which is the Colosseum. Cut to clip of Gladiator. Now. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? And we're back. Um, so yeah, it all just links in. You've got all your storages. I mean, some people say, what is the point in having a storage area for uh, now you have dimensional depots? Depots, depots. Um, but yeah, I do feed it into a dimensional depot. So this is how the, the back end of the storage works. They come up in here, they get split into a depot, or depot, whichever one you want to say. And then uh, the rest goes into a storage container um here and the reason for that is obviously like i'm using a ton of concrete absolute ton of it so when um this thing doesn't upload and keep my um uh inventory i'll show you later how much some of the blueprints cost um that's just not quick enough it's just not quick enough to keep up with how much i'm building so i have to come back here and just fill up my inventory and yeah it works the same as here it's a yeah it's reasonably neat I need to tidy it up a bit, you know. I go in here, we've got a sink, which I'll show you in a sec. And yeah, it's exactly the same for all of these. You can see most of the basic stuff is um, automated. A few things left. Um, I'll probably put in, talking about things that need to go in, uh, probably, I'm undecided. I've met, I, I had a spaghetti factory to start just to get me through a few tiers and obviously made a bunch of these Sam, uh, reanimated Sam and then at the top here we have a container full of, somewhere, yeah see full of the, what are they, I can't remember what they're called now, Sam, Sam fluctuators um, and then we've got novelisks as well and I did have some ammunition but I think I've run out of it so yeah that's one thing I'm going to uh, uh, definitely add uh, is a little novelist factory and a little reinforced iron because I've run out of that completely haven't I yet um, little ammunition probably just some um, rebar for the rebar gun stuff like that and I'll make anything else I need elsewhere uh, the I'll also probably add like um, packaged biofuel or something like that. So, because at the moment, as you can see, I am using just biomass for my jetpack, which is not the best, but I haven't made any other fuel. So, I'll probably do some liquid biofuel because obviously that's way better than the, the biomass for jetting around. And yeah, I'll probably add a few more little small factories here and there, but they might be added on later when uh, I've moved on and done some other things. Um, and so, just to show you on here, how it looks on the outside. Obviously, we have a couple of variations of that blueprint um, built in a circle. And I just, I, the idea was, let's see, all that crap biomass for your jet fuel. It's just quite nice to be down here and you've got the Colosseum looming over the top you like that and um, the only area we have left to go to is pretty bare bones I've literally just started kind of laying it out and this is what I tend to you see the motor factory is half done this is kind of laid out a bit back here you can see we've got a few miners which are going into these factories here um, and yeah, the bare bones of this next area <clears throat> which is going to take this copper node and just make a few AI limiters. So we're going to have an AI limiter factory just up here. And I don't think anything else, to be honest, but who knows? We'll see when I make the next video on this. But this is what I tend to do. I got a bit bored with doing the motor factory, so I just came over here and started laying out this area. As you can see, it's 
not even fully covered in foundations yet because it was literally the last thing I was doing on this save apart from tidying a few things up which I actually obviously missed a lot of um, so yeah um, that is pretty much everything that's built right now and uh, pretty much everything I plan to build at the moment obviously plans change um, but that's the plans I have for the moment so what I will jump to now is um, just a little explanation of a few of the blueprints okay so I've laid a few of the blueprints out just to show you them individually and so we can take a little bit of a closer look for them obviously this is the main pillar set I've been using as you can see they are unpainted so that's right almost every single be every single pillar uh, column that you've seen in this save has been painted by hand which is takes a while um, but basically they are the same principle they just um, are different sizes I'll quickly show you how to make them there is a technique I'll use a different pillar uh, that will get you smoother ones I kind of wanted the corrugated ones um, let me quickly show you how to do the smooth ones so you hold control and you can rotate you can do this off the top of the single pillar but I just find this much quicker and easier I'll show you a little bit like that but yeah holding control clicking around once like that and as you can see you're getting a much tighter column you're getting them right next to each other whereas these have little gaps and right how we did that uh, let me just get rid of this and I'll show you how I did that so what you do I'm gonna just make this easier by putting another pillar here so I can see the top of that one and we go we make a four meter beam twist it once put one on the top like that get rid of these two and that one and then keep repeating this process four meters click once with the control again get rid of those two I'll do one more on the beam on the top one one click the correct direction make sure it's four meters beam zoop down pillar even and you can see there we're getting the gaps like that so that uh, is how I did these and I think it just it fits better with the theme I'll probably use smoother ones in future and yeah, that's just a quick guide on how I did that okay so these are the next two blueprints I'm going to show you um, they are basically you've seen them in a lot of the walls they're in the Colosseum uh, there's a couple of different variations with the pillars in different places and um, with uh, that blocked off or with a hole or with no pillars but these kind of represent the options uh, the basic options uh, but the most interesting things about these is how I've done this archway here and I'll quickly show you how to do that it's the same way you would do any arch or uh, dome or circle or anything like that so if you know the technique you, you should be familiar um, so all I'm going to do is trying to find my center point here so these are six meters apart so if I go three and then I like to put a beam connector in the middle I'm just going to get rid of these at the moment uh, remembering that we need three meters uh, we get our beams again and we go out three meters I'm just going to put a marker one there um, just to save time uh, we will do the same on the other side when I'm doing work like this I like to do this just have the things I need just next to me so I can sample them um, get rid of that uh, if you don't have to sample middle mouse button samples then we need to go from default through diagonal into freeform you hit R to change those modes put the beam to the top like that default there and then we basically keep doing this all the way round obviously this is going to look slightly different to how I've done it there because it's a slightly bigger arch and building as you can see it's not too hard it's going to be slightly uh, different shape maybe a bit rougher quickly speed through this 
But again, this is how you make any kind of circle or dome with pillars. I only need one here. So I'll put it back into default for this one. Go straight up three meters. Hmm, or not. Let's do it the proper way. And we want our diagonal. Make sure you're in free form. Yeah. See, because it's that those top ones are not going to be completely straight. That's why it's I think I might have, because I'm speeding through, I might have messed that last one up, so it's a bit kinked in. But you get the idea, that's how you make these. So that one's slightly messed up, I think, because I was going too quickly. But it's the same principle. Use the beam to create the curve, point it at the top edge of each foundation, each uh, pillar edge, and then put a pillar there and do it repeat until you get the whole arch. Let's get rid of that for a sec. And we'll move on to the next blueprint. So this is the next uh, set of two blueprints. Um, again, uh, these are what I'm calling bridge supports. They normally support the buses. And as you can see, uh, there's the completed variation here where it's the whole thing. And then I have this variation, uh, which basically uh, allows me to uh, save on a bit of materials. So I can take one like that uh, from it lined up. Let's just use nudge. You see there's no need to have the pillars on the other side. Okay, nice and lined up. And put two together. Like this. Uh, it's a bit too nudged over, but you get the idea. That should should be further over here. Um, so yeah, it will create the same patterns as if I'm lining all of these up, but it just saves a little bit on materials. So that's how you use those. Not really any interesting building uh, techniques. Obviously, I've just used the blueprinted pillars that I've had down there, and I've created the arch in a very similar way to the way I created that one, but just on a bigger scale. Um, so, yeah, but you self explanatory those buses. So, we'll move on to the next ones, which are kind of the, uh, the decorative ones. And again, we saw this in the build. Uh, they are the what I'm calling it, uh, deco squares, I guess is a good name for them. Um, these are just pretty simple basic little boxes with the, the steps on them um, these nudged in by one step the pillars here are nudged in by a half a step Go away. Um, but yeah they're pretty simple they're pretty effective like I said I use them to create a bit more of a ground entrance upstairs and stuff um, then we have what I'm calling deco pillars um, Deco, obviously short for decoration. Uh, interesting things about this, obviously I've just used these, snapped them to the top. To get this one, um, it wouldn't allow me to, obviously they're snapped halfway up the pillar, as you can see, they're not right at the bottom like these ones are. All I did for that was, if I just get rid of a couple of these, I'll show you, like that. So you put one there, and then you can flip it like that. And then keep repeating. Oh, hang on, wait. that's wrong. Yeah, you want to keep it like that, don't you? You can flip it. So like that, and then do the next one, and so on and so forth until you go all the way around. I need to repaint these as gold on the blueprint. The other interesting thing is obviously these foundations here are small. They are obviously not half foundation or full foundation is this size and a half foundation that's not half is one meter by two meters these are two by two four by four sorry four by four foundations those are two by four foundations this is a two by two foundation okay that's a two by two yeah, it's slightly smaller isn't it because it's overlapped but you know what i mean they're smaller and how have i done that outer corner pieces clipped in you can make some nice little squares much smaller than foundation so if you need that all you do is get one of these let's just put it there Put a foundation and then you should just be able to move it into place without even holding control they can be a bit finicky sometimes so sometimes it's nice especially if you're near an edge there you go just get it on in the right place that and then another one in this corner Come on. and yeah it does have a hole in the middle but you could easily fill that with another one before I wasn't standing in the bloody way 
you could easily fill that anyway but yeah then you have a small foundation and obviously you could go as small as the actual width of no, try that again you can go as small as the width of the platform itself so you can just use your nudge to nudge yourself in so oh, okay no it won't let you go completely overlapped but you can go one out like that so that is the smallest square foundation you could possibly make obviously you'd need another one two on the side here but that makes a nice little thing as well maybe you do something like that and finally i talked about the braziers and i forgot i did actually have one with a pillar based on the bottom um so but again they're quite big they don't really fit in the smaller ones so i need to uh maybe create some smaller lighting solutions so if anyone's got some ideas for that i'd uh, be much appreciated or if you've liked any of the ones you've seen let me know which ones you like best um, I won't really go over how I created this because it took a long time and it will make the video twice as long, if not three times as long. So, yeah, you're just going to have to guess at how I made these. But, you know, if you like them, let me know. And so, that's it for this one, guys. I thought I'd come back to the doggos just so they can say goodbye. Say goodbye, guys. Yep, bye. Um, yep, yeah, that's it. Um, that's the completed... Uh, tour of this factory so far um, so uh, if you've enjoyed it or you found anything interesting um, or you want to see the completed version um, make sure you drop a subscribe because I don't know how long that's going to take hopefully not much too much longer and an announcement um, when I do finish this save my plan going forward uh, with the save uh, is with each completed factory i will upload the save to my discord which there's a link to in the description if you want to jump on there uh, also get notified of streams and everything like that i do yeah i'll upload the um the save for this and all the main blueprints i've used for it uh, every time i complete a factory so when i've completed this one i'll upload it onto the discord when i complete that fuel factory i was talking about i'll upload that onto the discord um along again with any major blueprints i obviously have a lot of test ones a lot of ones i've been messing around with i'll just put in the clean finished versions of each of the blueprints and same with the saves every factory finished save up on the discord um so if you're interested in that jump in the discord my original 1.0 save is already up uh, in the discord if you want to download that along with pretty much every blueprint there's probably a lot of messy blueprints in there as well but i just just chucked them all up for you um so you can have those any questions or anything you want to suggest to me please drop them in the comments i really hope you've enjoyed this video so uh drop me a like if you have let me know that you've enjoyed it uh, that would be amazing I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of the year um, getting on the way to that we are like 714 as i record this video um, so, yeah, I, I think we can get to that. So all that's left to say is thank you for watching. I've been Scratch, and I'll see you in the next video.